So now in high school, what was some of the growth in high school as a quarterback or as a player, even a teammate, right? Was it something that you had to really work at to develop as a quarterback? Or was it, you know, kind of a linear progress that you just got better and better every day, every year? Was there any hard um, times through that high school experience? Yeah, I mean, slowly got better every year. Mm-hmm. I definitely had to work at it. But like I said, I, I had this work ethic that always I felt like separated me. Mm-hmm training before practice during or then practicing and then after practicing mm-hmm. after practice getting extra sprints or going to the gym mm-hmm. and like i always i always did more yeah. and i felt mm-hmm. like that kind of helped keep me at par you know mm-hmm. also a part of high school was learning and dealing with injuries mm-hmm. uh, i fractured my collarbone in my junior year mm-hmm. which pretty much sat me and sidelined me the whole season mm-hmm. and that was a big part of Coming off of my sophomore year where we went to the state championship mm-hmm. game, you know, a lot of things are looking good. Started to hear about scholarship opportunities, right? College is looking at you. Mm-hmm. It's like junior year is a big year. Yeah. So having to deal with being sidelined was a was a big part of my growth. Yes. Definitely not through football, but as in life. And that's just another one of those life lessons that the game teaches, yes. man. And that's hard, you know, especially for a lot of athletes go through that. They're, you know, their recruitment year, right? That junior year even if it's not injury right hopefully it's not injury but even if it wasn't you know you didn't perform as well as you thought you could have or whatever obstacles come come your way those are things that really teach you how to become a better player in the future because the road's not done yet and right as as we know with your career the road was definitely not done yet. yeah definitely so just overcoming that i think you did learn a lot of life lessons that you could carry on with you to help you in the future you know i asked a lot of the athletes especially in hawaii right we're typically undersized (laughs) we don't have the size usually but for a quarterback i mean you have the size you know you have the size obviously to play division one and professionally but was that something that did you hit a growth spurt in high school or no you were kind of quarterback size same size as you were now i think i kind of like gradually grew okay i maybe went to high school at like five nine five ten okay then you know slowly crept up to six feet so i kind of stayed along yeah, it wasn't like I was 5'4", and then just kind of went, you yeah. know? I kind of yeah. always stayed at a, around that area. Yes, yes. I slowly grew into so my six feet That definitely frame. helped you, you know, build the strength and the physicality to, to compete, right, at those levels. Now, as you went into your senior year, what was the mindset like? Did you already have that idea that, hey, I want to play Division One at the next level? Was that something that, no, you kind of were just focusing on senior year? What was your your thoughts of the future like i i knew i wanted to play beyond high school like i I knew that much Mm -hmm. i had no thoughts as far as where it would be but i just knew i I wanted to continue playing this game i love the game i love the preparation i love uh, i love working out you know i love all the aspects Mm -hmm. um that come with being a football player and i just knew that i wanted to continue that so much that baseball started to take a back seat to where i didn't end up playing my junior and senior year okay you know um which as a freshman playing vars like that's probably where mm-hmm. you should really thrive you know mm-hmm. i've been playing vars for two years and now the game should really slow down for me in baseball mm-hmm. but i just decided to focus all my attention mm-hmm. and passion towards this, the game of football so when you got into your senior season were you kind of getting some offers or what was that process like because i know you were injured your junior year so how did that play out yeah i mean going back towards my sophomore year mm-hmm. right i thought we went all the way to the state t- championship game. I was like, bro, we lost. But I was like, okay, we got two more years, we'll win one. I'm going to get back there, we're going to win one. And we never made it back, but it just goes to show how special that season was and how hard it is also to achieve something like that. Mm-hmm. But going to my senior year, I just was like, bro, we got to get back there, right? Mm-hmm. That was the whole motivation was to get back, to complete what I didn't complete as a sophomore, mm-hmm. win the thing. Mm-hmm. And uh, so all my energy and attention was going to that. I, I never really kept... I knew I wanted to play beyond, but my focus wasn't then. You know, I, I always thought of like, just take care of now, later will take care of itself if you take care of now. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, for whatever reasons, I mean, maybe unfortunately at the time, but yeah. fortunately, you know, my path rolled out the way it was supposed to, mm-hmm. but nothing came through from that year of football and there was no offers and mm-hmm. just led me to, you know, Juco. Yes. Yeah. So where did you go to?